got a lot of hands in the first round. We will take few, get comments, then we get to the other hands. Just to assist us with the kind of questions we'd appreciate, I will first ask uh, Honorable uh, uh, Hoffman to be the first one. Then we have Situalo Moja, who will come after that. Uh, I just see the two hands for now. Let's hear that, Honorable Hoffman. Thank you, Member Kanile. I really appreciate the time and everybody's um, um, value added um, or value that they add here. I must say, um, talking to the to the stats, I think it is good that that the PC brings it into context uh, with regards to to previous years that that we haven't looked at the lockdown or that there was no lockdown. Um, I think it brings a better perspective, even for me as a member of uh, the safety committee. That being said, I want to add to the to the presenter that that just presented and state the following. If we look at the police performance, the members on the gra ground have a very difficult task in maintaining uh, the integrity of the SAPS as it stands now. Um, I've, got a, I've got a heart for, for, for the police, and I know and I work with numerous members of the police, good, and I've seen some bad members as well. With that being said, it is very important for us as leaders sitting here together today and for the PC and his senior staff members to maintain discipline within the SAPs. With that being said, it is for me a, a, a bit worrisome that we look at the disciplinary actions and the decline therein. As soon as pressure goes up within a, in a certain sense, uh, you should actually have more disciplinary action because you, there's more interaction between SAPs and the communities at large. Um, so that will bring more, um, with that interaction, more disciplinary actions, um, more altercations uh, with the public. What I'm worried about is, is the, the following. If there's a decline in disciplinary actions, it means that most probably the system isn't working. Either the legal system uh, with INSAPs um, have a problem, um, or there is a, a brothership uh, cronyism uh, that is within in the police. And as soon as we sit where there is, uh, where they don't, we don't act against members that's in the wrong, then other members in effect sees that, and that actually promotes um, corruption and um, all the bad things that might be happening in the police. And that is a big concern for me. Um, if we've got a strong leadership and uh, that acts upon um, on corruption and, and those types of things, um, then you will see a decline. Uh, a positive decline in members acting out or, or, or not doing what they're supposed to do. But if we see a natural decline in disciplinary action, and we all know that there is a, a problem within SAPs uh, with regards to discipline and corruption and, and, and that, then, then that is a red flag for me. Uh, PC and the presenter, thank you uh, for enlightening us. Um, I want to close to say that, that these interactions are welcomed and this does uh, do good for, for everybody. Uh, we get a better picture of, of what's happening. And uh, with that being said, I hope that, that the PC uh, will, will actually look at, at this presentation and um, give us a better understanding of, of what's happening with regards to discipline within the SAPs. Thank you, Chairperson. Thank you very much. Just before I get to Sitsualo Moja on, on, on our platform, I'm advised that